So Beyond Meat is expensive. So let's kick that to the curb and let's make our own. Now, I know my burger came out a little bit red, but I mean, look at this thing. It is it is good. And even Monica thinks so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Now, I have a recipe in my book for recreating the Beyond Burger, but it takes a ton of ingredients and those ingredients add up. I mean, it's expensive. So I want to see what I can remove to keep the cost down around $3 a pound while also keeping the taste great. The first thing that we need to do is make our fat. Now, the fat is just coconut oil, water, and methyl cellulose. Hi. So it's already pretty cheap. So let's not change a thing. First thing we want to do is start with a cup of water. Then we're going to start the blender up on a low speed and add about one and a half tablespoons of methyl cellulose. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy methyl cellulose. Once the methyl cellulose is mixed in, we're going to slowly drizzle in a cup of melted coconut oil. And when I'm talking slow, you want to go pretty dang slow to start off with because this needs to emulsify. Uh, once it starts to emulsify and you see that it's whipping up, then you could start adding the coconut oil a little quicker. This is going to be slightly thicker than mayo. You can see, I mean, it's thick, it still kind of droops off, but it's it's just a little bit thicker than mayo. Now at this point, all we're going to do is just spread this out like a, on like a small baking sheet. I just have like my toast toaster oven sheet lined with parchment paper, and then we're going to throw that in the freezer. That only needs about 20, 25 minutes to freeze solid. Now let's get into the meat of this. Uh, we're going to be using textured vegetable protein. It's a soy based protein. The Beyond Burger is pea based, but uh, as of right now, I don't have that. I think I'm going to be getting some pea based proteins pretty soon, probably the next video. I'm really excited. Now we just need some protein powder. Um, I'm going to be using mung bean protein. Commonly I used pea protein powder, but I was just out of it and the mung bean protein works pretty well. Now my favorite binder, methyl cellulose. I use this stuff for everything. I mean, it's just worth getting it in bulk. Now for some color and flavor, uh, we're going to be removing the sm liquid smoke because that's kind of expensive. And I'm assuming that a lot of people probably have smoked paprika in your pantry. So that's going to replace the liquid smoke and add a little flavor and color. It's perfect. Now we just need some garlic powder and beetroot powder. Now for the main flavor component of this, I'm going to be using some yeast extract, Marmite. Yeast extract is found in just about every plant-based meat. It's in loads of different things because it makes food taste very savory. We're going to be mixing the yeast extract with some warm tap water, uh, almost hot tap water, and then mixing that all together, kind of like making a Marmite broth. Now, once we pour that in and mix it up, we really want to judge the texture of this meat. Now, mine came out a little bit dry. I, I don't know what that is. Sometimes uh, you need to add a little bit more water. Maybe it's the humidity in the air. I don't know. But we just need to make sure that this is pretty wet. So at this point, we're just going to cover it up and I'm going to seal it with some cellophane plastic wrap. And then we're just going to toss this in the fridge for about 20, 25 minutes, about the same time that's needed for the coconut oil to freeze. So while we're waiting for the coconut oil to freeze, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Product Report Card is an online research company that rewards members for sharing their opinions. Your opinion will lead to changes in what companies do. Over 30 paid product tests per month and opportunities that pay up to $500, including online focus groups, shopping excursions, taste tests, in-home product tests, webcam interviews, and a lot more. And this isn't like one of those poll websites in the past. Product Report Card is a 4.4 score on Trustpilot. It's it's trusted. And it's a fun side hustle. I mean, I'm doing it just while I'm waiting here, but like anytime I'm just waiting for really anything, you could pop on for a few minutes and, and do a poll. So gang, fill out the registration form on the first page, answer a few more questions about yourself, your interests, and your lifestyle, confirm your email address, and take a short five-minute survey. That just helps them match you to surveys, focus groups, and product tests, and other opportunities. Then participate in more surveys, daily, weekly, monthly, just to maximize your earnings. So gang, this is fun and you can make some money at it. Tap my link in the description below and start giving your opinion on products for cash. Thanks, Product Report Card, for sponsoring today's video and giving me something to do while we're waiting for this coconut oil to freeze. And let's go check on it. We've already done a few surveys. Okay, the coconut oil is frozen up. I mean, look at this thing. So this is enough to do four pounds of meat. We only need a quarter of this. So we're going to break this up into four. So I'm going to cut it in half and then cut that half in the half. Then we need to start like slicing and chopping this up. Normally I would grate the coconut oil, but I kind of want bigger, chunkier pieces in this. I think it's going to come out better since we're missing some of the other fat ingredients. So we're just going to chunk this up, throw it into our mixture, mix it up. And then we just need to throw this back in the freezer for a little bit because I want those oil bits to kind of like remain firm for a little bit. Right now, after like chopping it up, they're kind of soft. So now that's going to be in the freezer for just a few minutes. So let's make a simple burger sauce. It's going to be equal parts ketchup, mayo, relish, and I'm going to use a Dijon mustard here. Now take your medium sized whisk, treat it like a drumstick, and then let's whisk this up and give it a taste. We should have the magic right. And we do. This stuff is good. Now our burger mixture is chilled up really nicely. Let's go ahead and measure this out. Now I said I was making a pound of ground beef, but actually what ended up happening was I got a pound and a quarter. 
Uh, we're going to be measuring these out into quarter pound burgers. And instead of four, we got five. Uh, so that measurement came out a little bit wrong. So the, the, the actual amount uh, works out to be a little bit better here. Talking about better, these look phenomenal. Now, I know the fat is a little off from what the Beyond looks like, but I'm telling you, I think it's going to be a better tasting burger. So we need to season them up. I'm going to be using my burger seasoning, which my burger seasoning is just a combination of salt, pepper, this burger seasoning from McCormick, which is really good, along with some MSG. Now, I know I always do that with MSG, but I'm telling you, it's like the flavor enhancer. It makes everything taste better. So now we have our cast iron skillet. We're going to heat that up over a medium heat, brush it with a little olive oil, toss these in and cook them up. Now you can see how juicy you see these are. These burgers are cooking amazing. We're going to cook them for about two or three minutes on each side, and then we're going to toast our buns. Get the rest of our ingredients ready. A little bit of burger sauce on the bun, lettuce, tomato, the onions, the little minced onions, can't forget that. Pickles, uh, Monica doesn't really like pickles, so I'll take all the pickles on my side. Look at these burgers. A little bit more burger sauce, because why not? Top off the bun. Let's see what Monica has to say. Did we make a cheaper Beyond copy? I think we did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. That was good. Very good. The color yeah. is different. Yep. The taste is not. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it definitely tastes like a Beyond burger to me. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm happy about it. Mm-hmm. You know, Beyond has a specific flavor, I think very like well-known flavor. It doesn't necessarily have that full Beyond flavor, but mm -hmm. like, I mean, it's very close. It, it tastes and texture of a burger that reminds me of Beyond. We have another three quarters of a pound left. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can make meatballs with it. Ooh. Um, season it up like sausage. Let's do all of that. We can do some bolognese. <laughs> this is the way to get a close Beyond Burger. I, I know we're not going to nail it exactly, but... Just the feel of a burger. The feel of ground beef. Yeah. The feel of, like, ground meat. Boom, baby. Boom. We made a burger. Well, there you have it. it. It was pretty dang close. I mean, it had a really great taste and texture. And coming in at $2.58 a pound, I mean, it was better than I imagined. And even if you want to add the costs of the garlic powder that you're going to use and the paprika you're going to use, you're still only going to be at $3 a pound. Now, I do hope that everybody understands that the costs that I did were costs based on what I used. You're going to have to spend a decent amount of money to get all of these ingredients. But once you have them, a lot of them have really long shelf lives the, that coconut oil makes four pounds you can make four pounds at a time but either way this is going to be a huge cost savings i think it's pretty dang good and i think you're going to think it's good too